Hey there everyone, I'm glad you made it to my channel. It's Cloud Chief Arcade, and in today's video, we're going over a beginner's guide for skill chains. So, to perform a skill chain, all you need to do is do a weapon skill after another weapon skill has been performed on the same mob within 3 to 10 seconds of the last skill chain happening. Also, mind you that this timing has to happen on the server side. So, if you happen to be experiencing latency or lag, you might need to adjust your timing a little bit. Something to be aware of though, not all weapon skills will skill chain with another weapon skill. There are elemental properties that come into play that matter whether it's going to actually chain and what type of skill chain will happen. As for what weapon skills will perform what skill chains, you can refer to this skill chain chart. Feel free to click on the link down in the description to go to this person's page where the chart is and download the chart and print it out. I definitely did this uh, way back in the day and I recommend you have it. That way you have quick reference that you can look at what weapon skills you can do with what other weapon skills and that way it will perform a chain. One thing to be aware of when you're looking at this chart is you will see letters A, B, and potentially even C next to the weapon skill name. Basically what that means is a weapon skill is going to prioritize the element of A over B or C. So depending on what's going on and what weapon skill is being used for that to close, it might not actually perform the element you want. If you would like to learn and practice a little more on your own with trusts, I highly recommend Amaya. She is a trust that will actually open skill chains for you. Other than that, pretty much every other trust will either try and close the skill chain or just randomly throw out weapon skills. So Amaya is really going to be your best bet for having someone open for you so that way you can try and perform and get your timing down with doing skill chains. Just be aware if you are trying to skill chain with Amaya, you need to do a weapon skill first or she won't go. After that, she is going to try and open a skill chain for you based on the weapon skill you just used. So you don't really want to be jumping around with different weapon skills when trying to chain with her or else you're going to confuse her and she's going to start doing different stuff and then you might not actually skill chain. So it's best to try and stick with one weapon skill when using her. If you want to switch it up, switch it up, but then stick with that one because when you first switch it up, she's probably going to not do the proper weapon skill that will chain with you. To unlock Amea, you need to have the Bastok Trust Permit and you also need to be rank 3 to go ahead and unlock her. Once you meet those prerequisites, you should be able to go and obtain her as a trust. That pretty much covers the basic of skill chains. Just to touch real quickly on magic bursts. To perform a magic burst, all you need to do is cast a magical spell on the mob that is of elemental properties that the skill chain is and it will burst. As long as you cast a magic spell within 1 to 10 seconds after a skill chain goes off then the magic burst will be successful again as long as the elemental properties align. Just be aware though if someone else jumps in and does another weapon skill that either does a multi-step skill chain to change the elemental property or just does a weapon skill that doesn't skill chain at all, that will at that point immediately cut off you being able to magic burst. So you're only getting that uh, 10 second window to try and magic burst if no one else goes and weapon skills to interrupt or change the property. Of course if the property changes you then have again, you know, 10 seconds to try and magic burst whatever the new property is. And that pretty much covers the basics of skill chains and what you should really need to know about doing weapon skills and skill chains before you're level 99. If you want a more comprehensive guide that's digging more into the elemental properties and how you can do multi-step skill chains and how you can easily set up combinations with different weapon skills for doing all kinds of crazy stuff with skill chains, 
check out my one guide and you can find the link for that down in the description. If you're still leveling up and not level 99 though, I don't recommend you go check out that guide because there's just a lot of information in there and it can actually get quite overwhelming for a new player. You really just want to focus on getting the fundamentals and timing down for skill chains before you start trying to dive into multi-step and kind of building your own type of skill chains and easily looking at weapon skill elemental properties and understanding that. That's a whole nother beast entirely. So once you get to level 99 and you're more comfortable with just doing skill chains and you know how to go about doing them, then jump into my other guide that will go much more in depth and get you where you need to go with doing multi-steps and figuring out how you can easily look at weapon skills and elemental properties and figure out what you want to do with them to make different skill chains and even multi-steps. Again, if you are a veteran player and you want a more comprehensive guide, check out my other guide down in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you got some value out of it. And as always, may you have success in all you do.